what's really been puzzling me is how come I just didn't know anything about this. I pretty much was doing things in my own little world. Amazingly, all the times that I should have been caught, I never was. Do you think that maybe Satan was involved? Chilling, never before heard prison phone calls between the infamous serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer and his father are now seeing the light of day thanks to a new Fox Nation series which explores the life and crimes of one of the most notorious killers in American history. Retired Milwaukee Police Lieutenant Michael Dubas worked on this case extensively and was on the scene at Dahmer's apartment the night of his arrest and he joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning. So, Michael, what was that night like? What did you see? Well, we was, got sent up to the uh, apartment there to meet another detective, and we were told that there were some pictures in the apartment, and we were told that there might be a human head in a box. Uh. Um, that's pretty way out there as far as even a homicide detective. And when we arrived, that's exactly what we had. Um, we started looking around a little bit, and make sure there were no other uh, no other victims or anybody else in the apartment. And there were human heads and bones and, and things all over every drawer we opened, every cabinet we opened, uh, there was uh, um, body parts. Wow, and then the phone rang when you're in his apartment, right? It was his dad. Right, um, I did uh, watch the series uh, last night, the first episode anyways. And that's pretty much the way it went down. The phone kept ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. And finally, I just picked it up and answered it. And uh, it was his dad, Lionel. And uh, we spoke for a few minutes. I told him that uh, Jeffrey was OK, um, that we were investigating uh, a homicide, but that um, uh, he was downtown. He was talking to some other detectives. He wasn't hurt. And uh, that was pretty much the end of that conversation. My, Michael, when you hear the dad, and we haven't seen the Fox Nation special because it just dropped this week, when you hear those clips, which we just played, his dad's voice sounds so normal. Like, uh, how did I not know about this, son? Instead of, like, what were you thinking? I mean, for even a dad to call, I know a father's love is unconditional for their child, but when your son has murdered 17 people and it's done in such a gruesome way, I'm not sure a father's voice, it just seems so abnormal to me. What were your thoughts? Well, I think that, um, as you say, I have three boys of my own, and uh, um, Lionel was, was comforting Jeffrey, uh, trying to get him to uh, understand where he's at, um, I, and I... I don't know what Lionel's uh, ideas were about recording all of it, but it, it really gives us an insight into um, what was going on and what the family uh, uh -huh. motives were there. Michael, if you if you watch some of the document documentaries that have been been made about this. Uh, there was the lady next door that lived next door to him, and she kept complaining, but she didn't want to lose her, her housing. And so it was, she was walking a fine line. But there were machines he was using, saws he was using. She had the odors. Um, in some of the clips, you see him you know, doing the unthinkable. He was a cannibal. He would kill them. And then, and then I don't even want to say it on morning television because kids are watching and eating their cereal. But you know the rest of the story. How accurate are these documentaries? They're, they're very close. Um, I know that the smell in his apartment was not that of death. Uh, I've, again, I've been a, was a homicide detective for 12 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I, when I made lieutenant and eventually captain, I stayed in the homicide uh, in division. Um, it was a very sweet smell. It was a very chemically smell. Uh, it, ironically enough, the smell is still in the room where all of his... Uh, property went that morning. Wow. Um, I walk in there and it's uh, it's still, I go walk back into it. Wow. Do you ever have nightmares about what you saw? Uneasy nights, mm -hmm. not nightmares. Mm -hmm. Especially being a father yourself and having three sons. Uh, all of the his victims were men. Michael, thank you so much. Thanks for participating in the Fox News special because that is all accurate. That is not fabricated at all. It's an exclusive series called My Son Jeffrey, The Dahmer Family Tapes. It's available now on foxnation.com. Michael, again, thank you, and thank you for your service.